Osteoporosis is a chronic progressive disease that is defined by weak bones. It can occur because either too much bone is lost, not enough bone is formed, or a combination of both. Over time, bones become weaker, thinner, and more brittle, which increases the likelihood that they can break. And a bo broken bone or a fracture can be a life-changing event. There are 10 million Americans with osteoporosis, and an osteoporotic fracture happens every 20 seconds in this country. So those are some daunting statistics, I think. This isn't just our grandmother's disease or our grandfather's disease. At any age, we should really be aware of bone health and certainly be concerned. We reach our peak bone density at about age 30, and then after that, bone begins to gradually decline and continues to do so with increasing age. So proactive or preventive measures that we can take at any stage of life include healthy diet, adequate, well-balanced nutrition, making sure that we're getting in enough calcium and vitamin D, weight-bearing, muscle-strengthening exercise, and reducing the risk for falls, because falls, especially as we get older, can often be the precipitating events for fractures or broken bones. I think patients, uh, people should be proactive about their health and speak with their healthcare provider about potential risk factors. Some of the major risk factors that we consider include age, family history or genetics, especially the history of a hip fracture in mom or dad, being of low body weight or small and thin because bones are often smaller and thinner, and having had a prior fracture as an adult because once somebody has had a first fracture, that doubles their risk for another fracture. In addition, there are a number of lifestyle factors that are important. Smoking, excessive alcohol intake can increase the risk for osteoporosis and fracture, and those are obviously things that can be modifiable. It's never too late to get involved and treat osteoporosis, and although we can't cure it, there are a number of things that we can do. So some of the preventive measures that we've mentioned in terms of diet, adequate calcium, vitamin D, and weight-bearing muscle strengthening exercise, if someone is at high risk or has osteoporosis, then a healthcare provider might also prescribe a medication to prevent further bone loss and to reduce the risk for fracture. There are a number of places where one can get a bone density scan. I think it's important for people to talk to their healthcare providers to see what's available in their local area. But this is an outpatient test. It's a non-invasive, quick test uh, that's painless that can be done in a healthcare provider's office if they have the right DEXA machine or in an outpatient hospital setting, in a radiology center. So many opportunities, and we should speak with our healthcare providers about whether we're candidates for having a DEXA scan. Now, I think the numbers are sort of daunting. While we talk about 10 million people with osteoporosis now, and um, total at risk being over 50 million when you consider those with low bone mass, those numbers are going to continue to increase. 2 million fractures every year in this country. By 2040 or 2050, that is slated to increase to 3 million if we don't do anything to stem this tide. So that's why it is so important for people to be aware, to speak with their healthcare providers, and to really try to be proactive in terms of trying to improve bone health, reduce the risk for ongoing disease, and most importantly, reduce the risk for fractures. World Osteoporosis Day is a day that is recognized globally and really meant to help raise awareness for this important and what can be a disease with devastating outcomes. So the goal is to get people talking about osteoporosis, to make people realize that having a low trauma fracture as an adult uh, is indicative of having osteoporosis, and most importantly, to help people understand that there are many things we can do to improve bone health so that we want to empower both men and women to speak with their health care providers and take an active role in their health. There are a couple of websites that can be extremely useful and provide a wealth of information, the first of which is the International Osteoporosis Foundation's website, which is www.iofbonehealth.org. And the second is the National Osteoporosis Foundation website, which is www.nof.org.